Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Wally Gator, IBEW Inside Journeyman Wireman. I got this channel up for you travelers or want to be travelers or just curious. Show you how I'm doing this traveling as a union electrician. It is quitting time and I am ready to go. <clears throat> this is the end of week nine. Week nine at the solar farm up here in Illinois. Leaving the parking lot now. And uh, I'm gonna kinda show you what it's like. Leaving the job, going back to where I'm staying at the campground. I'm doing the car camping here in the Tahoe. Uh, I think it's only like six miles from uh, from the uh, campground to work here. So uh, I'll hit pause a few times. Let's measure it, let's see. Let me hit pause right now. No, I'm not gonna hit pause right now. Let me see what Epi wants. That joker Epi just wanted to pass me. Well, it worked, he passed me. But my rear glass was open because at lunch and at break, I put my windows down and uh, opened the back glass just slightly to let airflow go in and uh, I'm able to sit here at lunch in the bright sun and it feels fine. There's a breeze up here, which is why they got all these windmills, these uh, turbines, turbines, whatever you want to call them. And uh, we're able to sit here and uh, eat lunch. Of course, we got a break room, but I like to eat lunch in here in the uh, Tahoe and uh, I'm not sweating. If it is hot enough, I may get my fan out, which has only happened a couple of times. But uh, Epi, he's our foreman. He sells these hats. These are Epi hats. I guess I'll put a uh, a picture of all these Epi hats. I'll put a picture of Epi as the thumbnail. So uh, anyway, uh, they go to a good cause. His wife makes them, and uh, they uh, help with. Uh, breast cancer awareness proceeds some of the uh, money goes to uh, breast cancer awareness so he made me uh, three or four of these different hats I like them epi hats they're welders hats and a lot of us like to wear them under our hard hat people ask why you wear those under your hard hat well it keeps your hair okay uh, keeps it from pulling your hair out your hard hat because you can get it caught in your hard hat and stuff and it just uh, makes a neater cleaner uh, head of hair when you take your hard hat off at lunch or at break or something you got this hat on uh, covering up that nappy head of yours so anyway all right heading home home is about seven miles away the campground uh, so that's what you got to do on these uh, solar farms is get a, a campground nearby because a lot of the biggest complaint uh, these guys out here working it is uh, that man they just hate to drive they they all live kind of a ways away not all of them but uh the ones who are complaining are talking about how uh, man I hate that 40 minute ride or hour and a half ride or two hour ride whatever it may be and then mine's like 15 minutes so out here in this little town of Lena Illinois they got a Dollar General they got a laundromat, which I use them both. They got a few restaurants, which I like the Lena Drive-In restaurant. Uh, they've always got good food and uh, ice creams and stuff like that. They also got a uh, gym, a small town gym. You know, it's just a uh, mom and pop owned gym. I'm a member of it. That way I can go work out anytime and uh, take care of myself because there's no Planet Fitness nearby. I love Planet Fitness because if anything, you know, you, you can run take a shower after work even if you don't uh, want to uh, go back to the campground because a lot of times I'll leave work and I'm headed somewhere else, out of state. Iowa, Wisconsin, Indiana, you know, I may go some, uh, somewhere else or just anywhere uh, I want to go and I can drop in right there and uh, take a shower since uh, my uh, 
campground. I didn't lease it for every night of the week. A lot of times I'll uh, rent it $10 a night, four or five nights. Uh, so I, sometimes I've only paid $40 uh, for a place to stay out here on this job. $40 a week, you know, four nights, $10 a night. There's no electricity. I've got battery powered stuff. I use my DeWalt fan. I use my Icy Breeze cooler uh, if I need to. I hadn't really used it yet except for just demonstration showing people uh, the uh, air conditioner cooler. And uh, you don't need a lot. When you go out of town, man, some of y'all can uh, think you got all this. So you don't have the comforts of home. You're not at home. You're out of town working, making money, and then get out of there. Well, I ain't gonna miss a minute. I'm gonna work all the time I can, and then when it's time to go, I'm gone, and I can go back home for three months and never even think about going to work. I can go fishing, I can go hunting, I can go do whatever I wanna do because I banked my time, I guess, my time off by working jobs that uh, you know, have a lot of overtime, and I work all the overtime they give me. So anyway, I'll show you up here downtown uh, Lena here in a minute. Oh, got my post office. Also got the post office up there. So just about everything I could need. I don't have a Walmart. They do have a grocery store, Sullivan's. Um, I don't go in there too much. Usually I'll get what groceries I need at Walmart out uh, when I'm out on the weekend somewhere else, you know, out doing my exploring. I'll do that. All right, we're coming up to downtown Lena, uh, right there on the left with the uh, arches. That's the uh, drive up, drive in uh, restaurant. Got a gas station here on the left. Fire stations right over there on the right. Of course, we got the Casey's gas station. That's nice uh, to run in there in the morning and uh, grab you some breakfast if you want to. It's a nice little area, nice little neighborhood down through here. Uh, everybody seems friendly and everybody knows that you're not from here. <laughs> and are you working on the solar farm or the gas line? They got a gas line uh, work going on out here. <clears throat> So right up here on the left is the restaurant we eat at on Wednesday nights, uh, Mulligan's. We just passed it right there on the left. There's a subway. Of course, we got the train station, uh, train tracks coming through here. I'll circle around and show you. Uh, all right, right there on the left, that's uh, Lena Coin Wash. That's where I do my laundry. And right here on the left here, that corner building, that's Lena Fitness. That's where uh, my gym is and where I work out. Not gonna work out right now, but I'm gonna go get my mail and then come back to it. Yeah, see that rusty truck right there? It's not all that old, but you will, you will get, we're in the rust belt up here. Um, I'm going to run back out here and I'll go to the post office. <clears throat> There's the uh, laundromat right there. Uh, here's a bank. I hadn't used it yet. A bank with different banks. So right over here is Dollar General. I just about go in there every, every two days probably I'll go in there and grab some things. Mostly food or water, drinks. Here's the post office. There's a car wash right here beside us. Run in here and check my mail. No mail, but I have ordered some stuff, so. Any day now, I should get it. Just run out here, I'll show you the grocery store. Here's Sullivan's grocery store. Um, 
This is out of Rockford's uh, local, local 364. <clears throat> is what I'm uh, in right now out here at this solar farm. Now there are more solar farms to come. So as you see right here, straight in front of us, right over there behind that fence, there are uh, solar panels uh, that power something here at the grocery store, I guess. <clears throat> I haven't asked them what they're running. It may not be, but uh, let's look at them right quick. Looks just like the ones we're putting in. So anyway, when uh, this other, there's gonna be a bigger uh, solar farm coming out. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly where, maybe somewhere. It's in local 364's uh, jurisdiction, so. Uh, when you guys are uh, gearing up to go to that job or wondering about it or wondering if you, you should take the call, you can watch this video and kind of get uh, get ideas on uh, what it would be like to be on the solar farm. Because until this job, I'd never worked on solar before. I've taken solar classes at the Union Hall uh, in Jacksonville, Florida to uh, study it up and uh, uh, learn about the solar. But uh, there's no better uh, no better teacher than hands-on experience and uh, that's what I'm getting out here at this solar farm so the next solar farm uh, I'll kind of be prepared and uh, you can kind of have an idea because uh, there's not too much online about solar right now and uh, I'm trying to fill you guys in you young guys this will be the some of the future uh, projects that you'll be working on for years to come so get in there and do the solar I'm enjoying it it's a lot of repetition, I've told you that. <clears throat> I've got good shoulders and uh, it's kind of making them bad. Of so many uh, repetitions over and over and over every day, 10 hours a day. Uh, it's rough on your shoulders and back and legs. Of course, I'm getting older, so uh, some of the young guys say they're sore and they're tired and all that, but uh, it is a wave of uh, the future, or at least future, uh, projects will be have solar panels and solar so get on some of these solar farms while you're young and you can uh do it while you got the energy and uh learn all you can about it right here on the corner straight ahead right there that's our uh drive-in restaurant this is a good little restaurant family owned They got all kinds of good food in there. But I'm not gonna eat there yet. I'm gonna run you guys on out here to uh, my campground. I believe this is the closest one around and uh, that's why I like it. Plus it's cheap, $10 a night for primitive camping. Some guys have got a tent, some guys are uh, doing the van life like me and uh, it's working out quite well. Uh, it's it's hard to beat being right next to the job site. Some people want to be as far away as they can, but when you wake up early in the morning and you're heading to work, the drive is a uh, drives what's what gets you traffic. As you can see, I ain't even had any traffic out here. Nobody has slowed me down but me. Showing you guys how I'm doing this uh, traveling as union electrician. Driving around, here's the neighborhoods. Cornfields and soybeans. Wheat and alfalfa. All that stuff's growing everywhere out here. Uh, we are about two miles from the uh, campground, so I'm gonna pause this for a minute and uh, we'll pick back up in a second. Look at all that corn on both sides of the road. A lot of corn up here in Illinois. Look at that view, more corn, rolling hills. There was a deer crossing sign. They got deer out here. There's a lot of deer. I see at least one deer every day in the park out here. All right, here's my campground, Lake Lee Aquana. Lake Lee Aquana State Park. I got a lake out here and I get to uh, camp right in front of the lake. 
This is July 17th, I do believe, 2023. There's the lake on the left. We'll get on up here to my camping spot and uh, we'll walk down to the lake real quick. Here we go. Nobody in here. Oh, okay, we got two. They got a tent up. Those two right there. But, uh, I just got a spot right here to the left. So I camp right here. So there we are. I'm home for the night or evening. Don't take much. Now let's walk down here to the lake. I'll show you what I do every evening. As you can see, for the most part, there's never anybody around. I've seen it fill up on the weekends, you know. That's why I go somewhere else. I go exploring. So, yep, it's 74 degrees right now. So after work, I'll run down here and look at my phone. Haven't even started fishing yet. I'm gonna do that pretty soon, get my license and start fishing. Pretty peaceful, don't you think? So, if you want to go make some money, and you want to do it like I do it, which is about 1%, of the travelers that travel do it the way I'm doing it with the van life but this is what it looks like for me this is probably my longest video probably nobody will watch it to the end but uh here's uh, the fish that are in here got some trout walleye large uh, large and smallmouth bass cat catfish bluegill sunfish Boom, there's our lake. Not too bad being a traveling union electrician, you think? All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give me your local union number, subscribe, send this to your friends. And above all else, go get that money. Goodbye.